always fresh every day. You're watching Fast Lane Daily. It's a big day, guys. It's big. All right? How big? Big. We've got two of the most anticipated cars of the year being revealed on the same day. That big. Yep, the new McLaren MP4-12C and Mercedes SLS Gullwing have both graduated from the internet rumor mill. All right, clap it up for graduation. Yeah! Yeah! All right, so it's a big day. We're gonna be filling you in. Also, what's the fuel economy on the new Fisker Karma sedan? And we run down to the streets of New York for a little man on the street action for my first car. What up, everybody? I'm Derek D. It's a good hump day today. It is. You're watching Fast Lane Daily. Woo! Hump day! Yes! Mmm! Fast Lane Daily with Derek D. Always fresh every day. It's now time for... Today's Headline! All right, Ian. That's actually a different Ian than the Ian you guys are normally used to. But anyway. This is pretty big. It's finally time to graduate a car from the internet room mill stardom into real life. Let's clap it up. I'm, it's, it's a clapping day. Whoa. All right, are you ready? Because McLaren has officially revealed their new 2011 MP4-12C, originally known as the codename P11 in our rumor mill for the past three years. The new McLaren has actually been in development for nearly a decade. The sports car is positioned to be the first, quote, modern McLaren utilizing a lot of the innovations and technologies learned from McLaren's racing history while still being easy to drive on the street. Wow, driving a car on the street as well. <laughs> Thanks for that. <laughs> anyway, this car is the first McLaren built and designed solely under the roof of McLaren with no Mercedes involvement since the start of the SLR program. The MP4-12C is not the replacement of the legendary McLaren F1, but rumors have it as the first of a new lineup of sports cars due for McLaren over the next five years. Power comes from a mid-mounted 3.8 liter twin turbo V8, which produces in the 600 horsepower range. There's no three-person layout like that of the F1, but McLaren is keen to point out that virtually every aspect of the car's design is fully functional to improve performance, even the cup holders. Or maybe I just made that up. Anyway, the MP4-12C will be making its world debut in Frankfurt next week and will only cost $4,327. Okay, maybe I made that up too. And another one of our internet rumor mill stars has been revealed, the Mercedes SLS AMG. We've stalked the car from cold weather testing in Sweden, even watched it flog the ring in full camo last year. Now, finally, we finally have photos of the final product, finally. Successor to the Mercedes-Benz 300 SL Gullwing of the 1950s, as well as a replacement of the SLR as the flagship sports car for Mercedes, the new SLS has been fully developed by the Skunk Works division of Mercedes, also known as AMG. Finally, that was a mouthful. The car is powered by the now widely used 6.2 liter V8, producing 571 horsepower with a seven speed dual clutch transmission, which boosts the 3,500 pound car to 60 in under four seconds and a top speed of 195 miles per hour. The SLS, much like the 300 SL, features vertically lifting doors that pretty much look like wings when fully open. No worries though, this going doesn't have a detached steering wheel to help you get in the car like the old 300 SL. That's good, but let's hope the new one doesn't get called the Widowmaker for other reasons. German pricing is set for 177,000 euros as a 2011 year model, but no word yet on how much us Yanks will have to pay. We'll get a closer look at it in Frankfurt next week. And Fisker has announced the estimated fuel economy figures for their upcoming Karma plug-in hybrid. Set for its German debut in Frankfurt, Fisker claims the four-door Karma will be, quote, one of the cleanest and most fuel efficient cars in the world while still offering world-class style and performance. Using the Society of Automotive Engineers, their calculations claim that the new Karma will consume in the range of 67.2 miles per gallon, while emitting only 83 grams of carbon dioxide per kilometer. <clears throat> so basically the car will cost as little as three cents a mile in electric mode and seven cents a mile in gas mode. The 403 horsepower Karma gets its power from a 200 kilowatt lithium ion battery pack, which gets its recharge from a 260 horsepower GM Source four-cylinder engine. Fully charged, the Karma can hit a range of 50 miles before the 260 horsepower engine kicks in. Next up, we got a little of this guy. I'm not the greatest star in the world, not yet. <laughs> you are not gonna wanna miss it. That's on my first car. Right after this, I'm gonna head over to Audi World and I got kilometers and carbon dioxide galore where I can ca capitulate the, uh, the figures of that scenario. Uh, wow. 
Sucked at it for you. No cigarette jerk, please. I, see, I don't, I don't want to portray to the kids that smoking is, is good. You can't keep your pearly whites if you smoke. So don't smoke. Plus, you'll die of cancer. A public service announcement from your friends at Fast Lane Daily. Welcome back. It's now time for my first car segment, and uh, just just watch this friggin' guy. All right, I'm here with James or Gregory. You said you go by James e W. Gregory Jr. James W. Gre Greg, you mind asking me or t asking me, telling me what your first car was? It was a Dodge Polara. Now I'm 52 years old, and I was a Dodge Polara push button automatic. Not kidding. And my most memorable moment, about a week after I got the car, uh, some friends of mine were out. Uh, we're going out to a party and an off-duty police officer ran into me and uh, he did not have insurance and uh, the insurance and the car was totaled. The, the cop car didn't have insurance? Your hair looks great, man. You're looking good. Oh, you. Looking I dapper. New beginning in New York. That's the story? The car, what happened to the car? Is that pretty much it? It was, it was totaled. Pretty, you know, and I had to junk the car, and, uh, but that was like just a week after uh, I got the car. Right. Wow. Dodge Polaro push button automatic. They don't make those cars. No, they don't. Dodge Polaro push button automatic. But it was a Dodge Polaro push button automatic. Awesome. Just a pu you know, push for drive. The police were notified in Los Angeles, and uh, she broke up to the threats. It, it's no problem. She went moved earthquake preparedness in Los Angeles. Portable. Oh, show it. About my network. It's you know it's falling apart, but it still serves a purpose right here. What's it say? Hold on, let me GNN. see. GNN Gregory News Network, and that looks like a brand new sign. No, Awesome. Well, Kitty, the big time, and your yeah. your re your resume is pretty stacked. Yeah, pretty much, pretty much. GNN, Gregory News Network, is always on YouTube and with other sites, and and also uh, another site called Blogstar.com. Blog, you know, because I'm a you know, uh, stars in Hollywood are on Blogstar, and you know, I'm not the greatest star in the world, not yet. <laughs> Check out his live show, Blogstar.com. James Gregory, and with other sites, YouTube. Look at that. Boom. There it is. All right, let's pound it out. Yes, sir. Man. Appreciate that. Thank you, sir. <laughs> oh, man. I know we got a little away from the, the car thing there, but come on. It was totally worth it for that guy. I, I don't know what he was saying. But anyway, he's fairly awesome in my opinion. Go to the, what is it, what's the website? Truth News Network 1. Truth News Network 1 on, on YouTube. I mean, it's, it's hilarious. James Gregory Jr., whatever. Okay. That about does it for Fast Lane Daily today. I'm Derek D. I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Remember, Facebook.com slash Fastlane Daily. You see stuff before everyone else. So be our friends. Twitter.com slash Fastlane Daily. And uh, subscribe on YouTube. And, you know, the whole, the whole rest. All right, guys? I will talk to you later.